you may have your ESI cloud solution set up in a way where certain calls that come into the system are sent off to a call queue. And a good example of that is when you call a number like your bank or doctor, um, many businesses, and the auto attendant will tell you press one for sales, two for support, three for accounting, that sort of thing. And when you press one of those digits on the auto attendant, your call is then set off to a queue. And there's a group of extensions that are assigned to that queue that will then answer that call. And it could be that the calls are set up to ring all the extensions in that queue at the same time, maybe one after another, maybe more systematically, like who has been off the phone the longest, that sort of thing. But either way, they come into this queue. And what you can do to monitor that queue is you can program a call queue key on your phone like I've done here. And when somebody gets in that queue, um, this little green dot icon will turn red. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. All right, so somebody's entered the queue and you see how it turned from green to red. Now, if you are a member of this queue, you have to log into this queue in order to take those calls. And to do that, you would want to have an agent log in out key programmed on your phone. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get those calls in the queue. And so when I log in, actually, I'm already logged in. So this is logging out. You are now unavailable. Thank you. And notice that the little uh, green icon is now kind of grayed out. It's almost not visible. And then I log back in. And it changes back to You are now available for calls. Thank now, you. Now, depending on the programming, how uh, your system administrator has set up the system, uh, you could log in and get a call immediately from the queue, or it could take a few minutes just depending on how the calls are meant to route to each extension within that queue. You only need, even though you can have multiple call queues and have those programmed here to monitor who's in a queue and who's not, um, or which one's busy or not, you only need one agent login key, regardless of how many queues you participate in.